Hey guys, welcome to my second video for Aranorf Chronicles. Um, if you haven't seen my first video, I went over making a generic warrior. I just want to make a kind of generic of each of the five characters. Um, well, five basic RPG characters, because I know all the selections can be kind of um, overwhelming sometimes. So I've said this in my last video, but I'll say it again. I assume you know a little bit about the game and this is just kind of a playthrough, gauntlet, three stages. Maybe you'll get some stuff from it. I'm not going to go into detail with every single little thing, but if you just picked up the game and you're feeling kind of lost, you're not sure what to do, I just wanted to make a couple of videos of just basic builds that you can do and run through and and then kind of grow from there. So we're not picking an organization. And our background, we're just going to do memories from a past life, which just gives us um, like more stat points, basically. We did a human last time, so we're going to try a Fey this time. And then for our class, we're going to do Shadow, which is kind of like the rope class. And I picked uh, Investigator here. So this is the way that I've allocated my stats. Um, I am going to drop Marksmanship just because I, I probably would keep it if I was just playing. But I want to do Hunter next. And for Hunter, we're going to, we're going to talk about Marksmanship. So we're going to drop that. And conjuration is a lot of summoning. It, it can be kind of complicated. Um, and I don't think it's going to quite fit into what I want to do with this. So I'm going to drop that one too. Um, one important thing when you're picking your skills is you want to make sure you have a skill that gives you access to weapons. So our warrior had combat, which is access to weapons. And the rogue has subter subterfuge, which has... Um, you unlock more weapons as you level up, like the Fey Dagger. And then more here, Masterwork Dagger, Katar. So you want to make sure you have access to weapons somehow. You can always do combat. I might even have thrown combat in here. Combat works great on a rogue too. Combat works great in like everything, but I want to try something different. So we're gonna have a rogue character that has a little bit of uh, magic stuff for crowd control and, and whatnot. Um, starting gear, I like uh, Shadow's gear too. Uh, if you don't see all this stuff, it's, it's because I have a mod that lets me pick like the different starting kits of different characters. So you, you would just see these three. Um, so Shadow's gear too I like because it starts with the hand crossbow. So we can have sneak attacks right away, which is just your attack does that much damage if you have concealment, which is something a lot of your cards build. So let's just get right into it. I should have probably changed my model from this wizard guy, but but that's fine. First thing is go to collection. Our minimum deck size is 24 and we're at 36. So we're going to have to cut some of these, but I usually like to do a few battles and see what skills just aren't really performing uh, up to my standards. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm a little under the weather. I might cough a little. I hope it's not too disturbing, but I'll do my best to keep it down. Um, one thing I forgot to do was equip our equipment. Should always do that first. And then, so let's see. So we got three guys. It's the first time I've encountered these, apparently. I unloaded and loaded a mod, so maybe it's, it's thinking that this is the first time I fought them. But that's fine. Um, so the first thing that I would do here is build up some defense. So let's do that. Here's some more defense. Okay. And then let's punch this guy. Get some damage. Bleed, stunner, vulnerable, and damage. Okay, so he's one hit away. Draw two, or draw one, or discard two. And then it's vulnerable as well so let's put vulnerable on that guy oh we got the draw too cool um our sneak attack will trigger because we have some concealment so so this should hit pretty hard so let's do it to this guy yep so rogue sneak attack good stuff oh multicast too vulnerable and stunned so took that guy out we're gonna get hit by this guy but he's he's not looking great All right, so I, I had forgot to equip our weapons originally, but we have them now, so it gives us more options there. So we can do concealment, and then 
this. Since we're concealed, we'll do three times damage. Nice. We can concealment again, and our next ability does damage. Punch this guy harder. And then give this guy back. Okay, then usually, um, I said this in my last video, but after I kill the enemies, I'll look over my skills if there's any that, that can level up. Um, so like web can level up here. Um, and when the card levels up, it gets more powerful. So the vulnerable goes from three to vulnerable four. So even though there's no enemies, Oh, we can cast it on ourselves and we'll still get, if we go to our deck here, it still counts as us casting it. Let's see, our XP went to, from one to two. And then we can't cast Mischief because we have no marksmanship. So hey, our first cut should be these Mischiefs because we can't use them. So that's easy. Um, and then you can get rid of cards by dragging them into the discard zone. Another thing you can do is if you just hold shift and left click, you can discard them quickly that way. So, so that can be helpful. Sometimes you'll want to keep cards in between battles, but sometimes you might want to discard down and, and draw other cards. All right, so we came across the skeleton. We can bury it or leave. Sure, let's bury it. So we got XP and perk points. That's it. Next thing. <clears throat> okay, three guys again. Now it's mine. Um, and if you hover over their ability and alt and left click, you can see what it's going to do. So he will either make us lose gold and we'll have to discard one or make us lose more gold and have to discard two. And then he'll give himself concealment. And I don't like losing gold, so I really kind of want to kill this guy. But single combat also hurts. So he's going to either hit one of our allies, but we have no allies, or he's going to hit us, but we gain uh, retribution, which means we, we do damage back to him. And this guy's just going to do a normal attack. So my priority of killing them, for me, I think is this, because I hate losing gold. Um, this is just a normal attack without giving us retribution, and then this is an attack, but we'll hit him back too. Ooh, we got this too, so we can possibly stun two of them. So I will put that over there to help think about. So then it's just concealment and trying to get these sneak attacks up. So shadow shift um, works like concealment. You either get concealment or you spend the concealment you have to do damage. So we will use it to gain concealment. And then what would be our most powerful attack for this guy? 9 to 21 or 9 to 18 so that's probably our best bet we could get some vulnerable here but we might discard two of our cards so I don't really like that this might be good because we oh we don't have marksmanship but it deals oh I guess not oh because it's not sneak attack so let's use this one okay right. not quite dead give him venom there we go okay this guy we can use these sneak attack cards but but they won't get the bonus and I don't really want to use this until it's one of our last cards <clears throat> but we're still pretty high on uh, AP this will let us draw a card so let's do that effortless play so we can either make our next attack I think, think double's a chance to do double damage. Yeah. Okay. Or defend, or we can give our next thing sneak attack, which is nice, but we don't have anything with concealment right now. So even if we, these will go from times three to times six, but we won't get their benefit because we don't have anything that gives us concealment. So this is probably the best. And we draw one. Ooh, and that's a nice card to draw. So let's see if it doubles. It did it. And then damage, concealment. And then this is going to hit extra hard. Cool. And then we can web this guy to hopefully stun him. Nope, doesn't stun him. And then I 
probably shouldn't have gone so low on my AP, but it's probably fine. But I'm just going to discard this with control click. We took a little bit of damage there. But I think we'll be okay. So let's skulk. And then let's get some shadow shift. And then our next attack should, should kill him. So let's see if we can level up any of our cards. We can level up this one. And we can level up these two. So let's see. Sure. And this card, even though we don't have marksmanship, this is still like a really good card. Okay, so they're dead. Let's just level stuff up. Whatever we can get away with without killing ourselves. And then I'm gonna... Let's see, we want to keep some Shadow Shift. And we'll, we'll draw that next turn anyway. Um, this Grappling Hook, I don't know if I'm feeling it. Because it's randomly bleed or stun. It does cost zero, but it doesn't really seem like we're having a lot of AP problems. So I think I'm going to cut that. And then was there anything else that just isn't really performing? I feel like we're not getting a lot of concealment cards, but we're getting plenty of uh, sneak attack cards. So maybe we can cut some of that stuff. I want to keep the Fey Reflexes because of the draw. Fey looks good. I think we can cut the Intuition. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. And I do like this multicast stun card, but maybe we can go down to two. So that should give us a lot more. Should we cut this? Seems like we draw enough cards. And this would be one of the... It would be one of the last cards we want to play in a turn. It does have... Um, delayed vulnerable which is nice I mean any vulnerable is nice but I think we could live without it all right we can go down to 24 so do we want to cut two more cards or do you want to just keep this um, I think we'll keep this and we'll may maybe take one away from each of these oh, I, I, I do like that though We'll just, we'll keep it like this. We'll see how it goes. <coughs> All right, so we're going to get new skills. Singing Boot. Inevitable Vulnerable. That seems nice. So Unresistible Vulnerable. This I've never really gotten a lot of use out of. It only, it will do extra damage to illusionary copies, but I don't really run into that too often. Ghost shield, target an ally. We don't, we, we don't really have allies. I don't think we're really going to focus on them that much. So I think singing boots the best in this situation because we can draw it right from our inventory in battle. All right, any stuff we want to keep or get rid of? I think we can. I think we'll keep these because greed is damage based on your hand size so as soon as our next turn starts these will hit pretty hard well, we don't need to keep both of them though because they're an echo effect so it will trigger again at the end of our turn so casting it twice is kind of a waste so we'll just keep the one all right four guys let's try not to take damage this this time if we can help it um, defend concealment, and then before we build any more concealment, let's, we want to use this because we want to use up our greed before we get too low on cards. So I, I maybe should have done that first, but, it, but it, it's okay. I think I'm okay with this guy taking a little gold since that, that was a, that was kind of a big hit we took. So let's hit it, hit this guy. Oh, and then he's going to get hit with it again at the end of turn. Hey, that's pretty cool. wonder how that works, though. I guess it's how however many cards we have left in our hand, so that might not hit very hard, but we'll see. 
For now, we'll consider him not a threat because he's going to summon an ally even if he doesn't die. This guy's not going to hurt us, so we'll just worry about trying to take these two guys out of the fight. See if we can stun one of them. Alright, he resisted the stun. Let's use up this concealment to do a sneak attack. Alright, so he's just about dead. Do this to draw a card. Save it for that guy. Okay, this is good. We'll, we'll get our concealment back with this at 1 to 3 damage, and hopefully this will kill him. Alright. Nope. Lucky us. But he is going to shield. Which I don't really like when they shield, because then you just have to do more damage to them. But, but for now, we'll say, hey, this guy isn't a threat. And we'll just worry about this last guy. So let's draw a card. Okay, cool. We can get concealment from this. And then shadow shift. Since we have concealment, we'll deal bludgeoning. And he's going to shield too. So which guy is the most annoying to me? I think the guy that summons an ally will be the most annoying to me. So let's stab that guy. All right, so we lost 10 gold. Our run is over. No, not quite. But let's see if we can clean this up. Oh, this is cool. So kind of want to start with this just to see what we stun. So we stun him, so we're not going to worry about him, and we'll try to just take these two guys out. So let's shadow shift. And then sneak attack. <coughs> and then we don't have a way to get concealment now. We may find equipment later that lets us get concealment every turn. That's really strong. And we'll see what comes down the line. Let's do the draw one again. Hey look, concealment. Nice. And then I think we can finish this guy off too. And we'll keep this. We, we keep seeming to draw all our sudden strikes in one turn. So let's keep it so we can try to um, spread them out a little bit. Open chest. Ooh. So that's a cool dagger. And silver does extra damage against... Um, supernatural creatures uh, so one thing with rogue is hey you got sneak attack you got lots of sneak attack and that's great but you need to think about okay what do I do if I run into a skeleton and he takes reduced damage from piercing or slashing and he's immune to sneak attack so one thing that I try to keep in mind with all the classes is I know what my strengths are but I but I kind of know that I'm already going to have access to a wide variety of that so I try to fill in where my weaknesses are. So I'm kind of leaning towards the spade dagger. And we get two choices, so that's cool. And then this wand isn't bad. I mean, it's free damage for, uh, for two AP. One to open our backpack and one to play it. So I think I'm okay with that. This would take up our weapon slots and both of them. So I'm not really wanting that. And this is uh, just a one-time use. It'd, it'd be really helpful against Undead, but I think we'll be okay. So I, I think we can get away with the Force Missiles. All right, what do I want to keep here? I feel like we can possibly cut the Survive, the Streets, or the Getaway. But the Getaway gives us Defend, which I like. We'll just We'll just hold on to these for now. All right, three Galdorox. Let's see what we can do here. Let's draw more cards first before we do anything else. Ooh, we can do this. We can Bayluck, double draw, and then Bay Reflexes. Concealment. Will that kill him? No. Sneak attack. Alright, let's see if we can stun them. 
We stunned the one, so we'll move him to the back. Shadow shift. Sure, just to level it up. And then we still have our concealment. So, should we try to kill that guy? Let's see. Can we use this? Oh, shadow shift six, and we only have four concealment. That's right. You have to you have to pay attention to that. So we don't quite have enough concealment to make this do damage. But I think we can twelve to twenty four. I mean, we can use this to get a little more bonus damage. I mean, there we're pretty much guaranteed to kill him, but we're low on AP. The next fight is against the boss. I'd rather just wait. Eventually more reinforcements will come, but I'd rather wait and try to enter the next fight full on AP with maybe a hand that I know I can do some stuff with right away. All right, so Skulk. Stab him with that and then Concealment, Concealment. We have a lot of concealment cards. We can we can get rid of them for defend though. Let's draw the one with. Well, we don't want to get too low on AP again, so we'll we'll just kill him. It's a decent enough amount. We got to keep in mind we can use these. I mean, we can use these at any time, but we may want to use these on the boss just to make sure we don't die a horrible death. Um, we also have two rations, and you can uh, you could camp if we wanted to. Uh, I think we'd need to gather wood first, um, and then we could camp, and we could restore some some health and AP. Um, this this option might not be on by default. I'm not sure, but it might be something you want to turn on. It, it just gives you some more resting options in the gauntlet mode, you know, while you're still learning the game. You can ask in the Discord or the forums, and they'll, they'll help you out. Uh, talking you through how to get it. Look at this guy. Kyle Thorne. Living demon, wicked, heretic, supernatural. So supernatural means that he would take extra damage from our, our Fey Dagger, but we can't quite use it yet. So we need to be level 2 to level up our, our sub, subterfuge. All right, so is there a way we can stun him or something so we can worry about his buddies? It doesn't look like it. We might have to get hit by him. I'm hoping we don't. But I usually try to take out the minions first. Oh, but we can do a we could do a big hit. So we could do get concealment. And then plus damage. And then since these all uh, have the little scroll thing, they won't trigger the synergies, the little curvy arrows abilities. So you can just stack a whole bunch of them on top of each other. So then we can do Fey Luck, do a bigger sneak attack. And now this has plus damage and sneak attack 6. 30 to 66. So that's a pretty meaty hit. I feel like it's a waste to use it on these. I know I said <laughs> I wanted to kill these guys, but I don't think I realized how big of a hit this would be. So let's do it. Look at that. We almost one-shot him. Now we can just finish him off with the dagger. He's not quite dead, but Venom... Um, is you lose three three damage per turn, so that venom will finish him off. Um, maybe we should use the greed earlier, but that's okay. We can draw one with marksmanship. Uh, this guy's hitting a little harder. This guy has less health, though. I think we can hit this guy some. So let's draw a card. Cool. So we get a sneak attack. Once we have Concealment, we have a Concealment card. So let's Concealment, let's stab that guy. 
and this is the only guy that's left. Let's just take a peek. Alright, we might just end up selling some of these. I was hoping for our our wand, but but that's okay. Um, and then we'll use this, why not? Just to level it up some. Does damage there. Why did you do ten? That was a that was a big hit. Greed four damage and then plus six because of vulnerable vulnerable two delayed vulnerable two oh so I see so we used it and then when it triggered the second time because of all the vulnerable and then more vulnerable wow that's a really good ability then I don't think I realized how good lead lead astray is especially when we level it up I think uh does it level up? Oh no, it doesn't level up. Well, it's still solid. So we got two books. Let's see what we got. Oh, so we can throw an ally in here. I usually like to throw in an ally if I have room for it because it's, you know, it costs four and he can snipe shot for the next four turns. So, so the way I think of it is, okay, as long as I can keep this guy from dying, for four mana I get to do a 3-6 attack with a possibility of double shotting four times in a row. That that seems like a pretty good deal to me. Um, they do eat up an extra point of your concentration. I, I actually don't know if they do in this mode. In, in the higher level modes they do, so that can be consideration. But I think it'd be helpful for this deck. So what's, what's the deal with this guy? Waylay. Target ally on summon, but your next attack gets four sneak attack and greed. And when he attacks, he applies vulnerable. Well, I think this guy's better. I like the snipe shot. So let's. We could actually grab both of them, but I don't think I want to use both of them. So let's just grab this guy. And the dancing lights is solid. I, I am a big fan of vulnerable. Trickery is good too. If we get stealth, it will give us plus damage. Then it becomes a, a really powerful tool to replace one of our other cards that gives us synergy damage. So that one's a little tough. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Weaken because we don't we don't have any Weaken in our deck right now. So let's go with that. Here, what do we get? Restlessness, Detect Nation, Summon Strike. I am not a fan of any of these, so I'm going to go on whatever will sell for the most. 9 to 14 or 9 to 14. So you're the winner. Alright, and then before I wrap this video up, let's just do the town real quick. Um, I don't think it's that big of an issue in this mode. In other modes, you have a limited amount of time that passes as you're in the shop. So you, you kind of want to get everything done as efficiently as you can. <coughs> when you first enter the shop, you'll it always opens the actions. I like to sell my stuff first right away, but if we jump right to the sell menu, we kind of waste these these cards that have rolled, you know, because the, the time will advance when we go back to here. So we might as well look at these, see if there's any that we want to pick up. I wouldn't mind any sort of inevitable CC. So inevitable entangles nice. Uh, and maybe some bewitch would be nice. <coughs> Takedown is a is a solid card. It's it's very cheap and gives you bonus sneak attack, does damage, and delayed stun, which I like. Uh, I'm gonna buy that. What else we got here? Vulnerable and deal air damage. I try to also get different damage types too. If you if you spread yourself, if you focus too hard on one damage type, you could you know, and you run into something that's immune or very resistant to it, you can run into trouble. That, that seems like a lot of vulnerable. Vulnerable five. I think our our class ability is. Let's see if I can see that from the screen. 
I'll check, I'll check after. Uh, inventory, maybe? No. I'll see if I can check after. I think I can leave town and come back. So our investigator. Okay, so our subs, subterfuge actions get plus one defense. Is what this is. And then if you leave your town because you want to check your inventory or whatever, you can go back by, by hitting this key. Alright, so what else do we got? Skulk. I like I like Reckless Shot because it uh it has quick draw, so you, you draw your weapons back. So it does damage, and then you also, if you have like efficient weapons, you get those back. I'm I'm gonna I think I'm gonna save my gold and look because I wanna look at the equipment. So maybe there's some other good cards there, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um I'm just gonna sell this. I'm gonna keep that Fey Dagger. I'm gonna sell these mischiefs, I think. Oh yeah, because we're we're never gonna have marksmanship, so it's fine. Um, I'm gonna sell my intuitions, which is probably a bad idea, or of like as a joke because you know selling your intuition. But sell that. Sell these. We'll leave these just in case we need more stun, even though this is only like a half the time your stun will maybe work. But we'll, we'll, we'll hold on to it for now. And then these these can be nice and helpful, but I I usually don't find myself using them that much, so I, I usually ditch them. Let's take a peek at the allies. Here's the bandit we got for free. That's pretty expensive. Um, I've noticed allies are usually pretty expensive. So if you get them as a an option in a card reward, you know, and you can use it, it you're better off buying them there than buying them here. It's gentleman thief school because he gets you gold and experience but I don't want to spend a large chunk of my money because he, he's kind of he, he's a little bit of dead weight on the battlefield but the vulnerable is good especially if you have a deck that triggers when you apply vulnerable so it's like every turn he can apply vulnerable which which is kind of nice but I, I I'm not gonna go to um, allied focused for for this this run Alright, let's see what we got here. Consumants. I love this wand. It's so great. I get it on every character. The wild boar is just so good. I, I will show you why. Um, what else do we got? I usually don't buy bombs. I'll use them if I find them. This bedroll is nice. It's really cheap and it, it works as a good heal. Okay. Uh, let's look at armors. I kind of want to click don't show me cards I can use on train because it's going to show me all stuff that has no requirement and I'm kind of curious about the stuff that for for the skills I have uh, but let's just take a look since we're already on it ring of illusions lose one eight lose HP choose from two illusion cards and then our next ability is minus one strength that's really nice and I'd pick it up if I got it in a card reward but it's kind of expensive here. All right, so let's let's refresh it now with the new. Uh, you can even turn this off because maybe we'll find something that needs a two, and we're we're pretty close to leveling anyway. So we're not quite at fours. Illusionist hat. I I don't think we're gonna go hard on the um, astral aspect. Hey look, Cloak of the Woods, automatic concealment every turn. That seems pretty solid. Let's get that. Hunter, we are not a hunter. Automatic, draw one more card and resist. Oh, that's really expensive though. And I, I think I'd want a different thing in that slot anyway. Oh, what else we got? Why have these got to be so expensive? Show me, show me some like more two cost stuff, please. Okay, this card is is way too good for what it costs. Um, so I am not gonna buy it. But if you are, by all means, go for it. I mean, drawing a free bewitch every single turn is very strong. But I'm, I just. 
I, I find myself using it every single turn, and I've used it so much that I, I need like a, a break from it. I like this, the Hex Ward, it protects you a lot from status effects. And the defend levels up, a little bit of defend is nice. Here's the Enforcer Cloak, I also like because it heals you every turn, but we, we have the um, Concealment Cloak, so I'm not going to worry about that. So let's get this ring, and then let's look at weapons real quick with a little bit of gold we have left. Okay. These are all expensive. So let's do um let's see some untrained cards. Let's see what we can find. I usually pick up a pistol just in case something's flying so I can shoot it. And you can toss it to amplify your slashing damage. It's kinda cool. I don't actually know what our deck mostly what our damage type is I haven't what do we got so yeah we, we do have a lot of slashing oh well, fair about a couple a couple slashing oh but our, our oh no piercing sorry oh yeah but it's amplified piercing I kind of like that, so we could discard it every turn, and then the rest of our piercing stuff would do more damage. And it, and it has bleed. I feel like that's pretty cool. Subterfuge, which we have vulnerable, sneak attack, cripple, sneak attack, silver. We're gonna have, we are gonna have the fey dagger. So maybe we don't need anything else because we're just we can use the dueling pistol and the fey dagger. This wooden shield is really good too. Um, on any character because you can discard it for a stun so every turn you get a stun for free so it's another card that I'm not going to pick up just because I use too much alright let's just look at actions again real quick I know we're taking a little bit in the store probably more time than we need to but you know when you're still learning I, I just want to go over all these options that you have I really like sturdy rope it costs one stun and vulnerable I'll pick one of those up why not Bamboozles, probably a better sturdy rope. I feel like our deck is missing some uh, crowd control. So if I can get some of that, that's cool. Um, kind of want to get something more expensive. Just because we bleed, deal damage, bleed, deal damage, deal damage. Wow. That's a lot of astral damage. Kind of want to get it. Just so we have a little bit of a different of a damage type. Alright, can we buy anything with 44 gold? Don't really want that, don't really want that. Alright, that looks good to me. Alright. Okay, so <clears throat> let's make some adjustments to our deck. We're back up to 34 cards. So let's see if we can cut some stuff. So we want to cut about 10 cards. So let's see. I didn't mean to put that in our deck. Um, or that. we got we have a lot of concealment I feel like we might not need this getaway the range would be nice if something was flying but I don't think we're we're too concerned about that skulk is just plus damage I think we can get away without that I like this plus sneak attacks I like that this psych uh, draws another card I think we can live with one lead astray I don't want to go back up to three of these just because it seems like we need a little more stun. Alright, three more cards. Maybe two of... Maybe three of these? Okay, Shadow Shift. So this, this gave us Concealment. So do we still have... I try to keep 
a little little bit or equal to concealment as I have sneak attack. We we did get that cloak though that we have to equip. So that will give us concealment every turn, so that will help out a little bit. So I feel like having five concealment cards is fine, along with the cloak. So we'll go with that. So let's just equip that stuff real quick. Woods bring the warding. Dueling pistol. All right, and our little guy is uh, ready to go for part two, um, which we will do.